I'm so pleased that we're doing this watch with Bremen. And it's a huge privilege for me to be working with people like Nick and Giles and their teams. The association of, of a watch like this with the D-Type is perfect, actually. The D-Type's always been a very special car. It's been a particular favorite of mine. And it's a very raw sports car. It's a racing car. It's meant to be a racing car. It's built to be a racing car. It's built to win, which it did. And there's something very visceral about its existence. You do feel it one with the car because of this mechanical content the car has. You can feel the gearbox, you can feel the suspension, you can feel the chassis. The looks of the car are very important, they're very distinctive. Designed by Malcolm Sayre, designed really around aerodynamics. But if you analyse the D-Type, it's actually a very geometric fuselage with these pontoons built onto them to take the wheels and cover them up. And then it's all blended together but the principles of the shape of the car are very geometric and very controlled, and that's the way Malcolm Sayer worked. There were certainly a number of D-types designed. The original one was a short nose. It had a very short nose at the front. As the car developed, they recognised that the car needed a longer nose for aerodynamics, gives it better stability, and they also developed this very unique rear wing that came off the driver's seat, and that's what a lot of people remember the D-type to be like. Aerodynamically, it was superior to anything else on the track at the time. The beauty of one of these watches is the mechanical element of it. This beautiful timepiece, you can actually see and admire the fact it's been put together with real love and with passion. There's some great details about the watch that uh, really harken back to the actual D-type itself. The tyre pattern on the winder, of course, is Dunlop Racing Tyre, a very famous pattern, which are only on the, the Jaguar watches. It has the punched holes in the uh, strap, which kind of is reminiscent of the steering wheel, taking weight out. The blue is sort of inspired by the Curie Cost Blue, which to me is probably the most important D-type colour there is. Uh, when you turn the watch round, again, incredible mechanical detail, a real mechanical feel about it, precision. So that mechanical association is very, very important. Of course, a really nice thing is that they're both British. You know, the D-type is very British in a very British way. Matter of fact, it was what it was, it did what it had to do, and it was elegant. And I can say exactly the same for this British-made Bremen watch. It has the same sense of charm, elegance, and robustness about it that the detail had.